hi guys welcome or welcome back to my channel if you haven't already please kindly subscribe and hit the bell icon so you get notified whenever i post new videos so today's vlog is all about my first school project i will be taking you through my entire process of making my first sewing project so my first school project is a skirt and unfortunately we are behind schedule and we haven't finished drafting our own skirt patterns so the lecture gave us a size 28 skirt pattern and that is what we already cut out right now i'm just unpinning the pattern because i am done with it and i am supposed to give it to one of my friends and her name is tender and she's the one sitting next to me this skirt has one front piece that was cut on fold two back pieces with a slit, a waistband, and two pockets. So I kept forgetting that I was recording a YouTube video, so I skipped some of the parts and some of those parts being stitching the darts. I already stitched the darts and right now I am just pressing those darts toward the center front and the center back. So I was ahead of my class when so my lecture had me cutting the pockets and that is what I am doing right now. And if you guys are wondering if, if you ever wondered, I spoke to all of my classmates and I asked them if they don't mind appearing in my YouTube channel and they all said they don't mind. That is why you haven't seen me blurring and So this is our first time using an overlocker and I immediately fell in love with an overlocker. It makes a garment way more neat and I am planning on buying one for myself soon. I had to use the skirt fabric first to make sure that the overlocker is working perfectly and then I had to start overlocking my pockets only on the curved side of the pockets.
I am done overlooking the curved side of my pocket so I'm just pinning it to the lining of the pocket and right here I was trying to show you how the overlook looks but unfortunately my camera was not focusing so I will stitch the pockets to the lining on the inside of the overlock stitch. Oh and by the way we are using a jean fabric that was provided by the lecture. She also provided us with threads, bobbins and bobbin cases and every student has their own and they have to be responsible for theirs. Okay, so I am done stitching my pockets and this is my friend Rufona. Her machine was not working properly today so I had to borrow her my machine so she can stitch her pockets also.
After stitching the pockets, I went to the lecturer and she helped me pin the pockets to the front piece of the skirt and this is how it looks from the inside. And this is also how my bag looks. I already joined the center bag and attached my zipper and I had to do a mock-up for the zipper and showed it to my lecturer before sewing the zipper to the real skirt. So now I have to press the slit first and then join the side seam together on a 1.5cm seam allowance but I have to sew the slit down so that it stays in one place. So here I made a mistake, I only stitched one side of the slit instead of both of them. So I realized that after stitching it and now I'm just ripping off the stitch and I'll do it correctly. Now that I'm done with the slit, I will go ahead and join the side seam on the 1.5 cm seam allowance.
I just finished joining the side seam and now I'm going to overlock those side seam and then overlock the hem and also stitch the hem down and my camera was still not focusing on the overlock. So this is my skirt after stitching the hem and attaching the waistband. The only thing I was left with was to sew the button and the buttonhole and I did that off camera and unfortunately I forgot to record the close up of the skirt before I submitted it but believe me, it turned out beautiful and I think that coming here with a bit of sewing experience helped me a lot. So guys that is it for today's video, I really hope you guys enjoyed watching this video and if you did don't forget to give this video a huge thumbs up, don't forget to comment down below and please subscribe if you haven't already, I really appreciate your support and I'm looking forward to seeing you guys on my next vlog.